Hello, I'm Joel and welcome to my review of the Apple Watch. The watch comes beautifully packaged in a card cube which opens up to present a plastic box containing the watch, the charger and instructions. The watch itself comes wrapped in plastic for protection and once unwrapped it really strikes you how good looking the watch is. The watch face is quite thick but as the edges of curves is smooth and every feature is nimble and perfectly engineered it does not look bulky or awkward. The only two buttons apart from the screen are a smoothly rotating crown which also acts as a button and an extra side button below it. The model product testing sent me is the Sport 38mm edition with a white strap. The strap is easy to fasten, simply slot the nib through the hole and tuck the end of the strap in. Pairing the watch is easy too, although you will need an iPhone 5 or newer. After setting the language all you need to do is open up the Apple Watch iPhone app, select pair and take a picture of the screen. The two are now paired and start to sync up your information. Activating the watch requires a simple flick of the wrist towards you. As the watch knows which hand it is on, it knows whether it is rotated towards you or not to a surprisingly good degree of accuracy. It cannot be too subtle though and it does require a proper flick motion. Another control is force touch where pressing the screen in activates app options seen here customising the clock face. All these clock faces can be customised to show information and all of the apps utilise the crown effectively to control various options as shown. If you swipe upwards you get glances which show quick options or views for many of the apps on the iPhone without having to open the app up. These are very useful to quickly view or change something or open up the app if necessary. Here I have opened up the activities app which is another highlight showing you how much you exercise during the day. Notifications are great too. A small vibrate or sound alerts you and shows you information once you look at it. This is really neat and probably the most useful feature of the watch. What I'm not so keen on is the quick friends menu. Pressing the bottom button lets you choose a friend from a predefined list and call or message them. I wouldn't use this too much although I do like the icons and smooth animations here. The main app screen is also a little fiddly. You must drag the tiny icons around then click on one or zoom in. This requires both focus and precision, something you may not have at all times during the day. Some apps also don't have too much functionality. The BBC News app only shows you a brief summary and tries to make you get your phone out to see more. I feel this is hardly worth using. Other apps like Mail often can't show full emails either. The best apps are the most simple ones, however. After a short learning curve, the controls become more natural and some of the apps, although simple, are very useful. Once I realised these apps are supposed to be more useful than entertaining, I really started to enjoy using the watch. Some bits I wouldn't use so much, although Siri is useful, I can't imagine many times I would actually use it. And the same goes for dictation, which is not as accurate in noisy locations. Security wise, if you take the watch off, it automatically locks with the passcode that you set earlier. You can then charge it by securing the magnetic wireless charger on the back. I found the battery to last between 16 and 18 hours which is the better part of a day and charging only takes 2 hours or so. You can also put it in power reserve mode which only displays the time and no more. The flicking motion does not work here either and you must press a button to see the time. Overall I give the watch 4 stars. As I explained in my written review, it is only supposed to be a companion gadget to the iPhone. At £480 it is quite expensive for what it is, but I think it's designed very well and once Apple iron out all the kinks, this will be a product well worth getting. This first generation model is still great, but due to the price and a few of the pitfalls I would only buy it if I was either very rich or very keen.